37 is an all-new race machine. It's based on a much more innovative and radical aerodynamic concept. You will note the nose and the front wing concept has changed largely. The wheelbase has been changed, which means that the front axle is moved further forward. This is in order to provide more space for turning elements in order to enhance aerodynamic performance. We also changed the wishbone height uh, to a larger height in order to uh, enhance aerodynamic performance and as well we changed the inboard suspension elements to a much more compact and lighter design. Further back to the car you will see that the bodywork is much more slender. The packaging around the new cooling system is very tight. The design office had put a lot of effort into this. At the back of the car, this time we have the new 2018 Ferrari engine, which will power us, of course, to very good positions. We also um, have the gearbox of the Ferrari together with the um, Ferrari rear suspension, which meant we had to move uh, the rear suspension by about 40 mm further backwards. There have been key changes on the technical relation for 2018. Um, uh, the most important one is the integration of the halo roll structure. Um, this is a titanium frame of about 7 kilograms in weight. Um, it was quite a task for the designers to integrate this structure um, into the monocoque. Uh, you can imagine that the attachment points have to withstand quite some substantial loads. Um, this structure has to undergo a static load test of about 150 kN. Um, the second key change I would like to mention is the uh, step up of the frontal impact test too. Uh, here we have to now allow for deceleration force of 450 kN, which was 360 kN in the past. So the third change I would like to mention is that we now have to add a third wheel tether in order to restrain uh, the wheels in case they may come loose because of a, a failure of suspension. So they're all safety related regulation changes and we're of course very happy to support those. There is a development plan in place for 2018. We are going to introduce major upgrades on the aerodynamic package. There will be new floors and new front wings and perhaps also new bodywork elements being introduced. Um, we split those in the beginning, so the first half of the season, to some particular races and later in the second part of the season there will be also some key upgrades um, presented. The most important for us now is to understand the global behavior of the car. It's an entire new race machine which offers a lot more adjustability on the aerodynamic, on the mechanical system side. So the race team and the drivers, they have to understand how this car works. So we're going to use the time in order to find the right adjustability to find a setup which offers a stable and a consistent uh, performance of the car.